what's going on boxing fans all over the world it's your boy pool counter boxing coming at you with another boxing video for the boxing heads and the boxing mind chris colbert he is the wba intern champion he will be fighting on july 3rd uh tuxo nambiar and he is a pretty good fighter he's mongolian and he is uh, uh really he's he's here in the united states he's uh, uh out of los angeles so chris colbert he is a up-and-coming fighter um, very flashy, very uh, dynamic, uh, uh, Adrian Bronner type character. Um, he wears pink hair and uh, he uh, really promotes himself um, very hard in the media. He's flashy in the ring, um, very a lot of athletic ability. But he's more famous by he's more famous for going against the grain and saying a lot of outlandish things like um, you know being a black ppc fighter you know you would think he would be on board with the ppc team but he's not he goes against the grain um you know he said that uh, manny pacquiao will beat flat-footed errol spence jr which is um a little over the top but he says he always pick against errol spence jr you know, like there's some kind of um, personal uh, competitiveness going on there because uh, Errol Spitz Jr., his success within the PBC is, um, is kind of looked at in a, um, you know, in a, in a jealous way from a lot of fighters because uh, right now Colbert hasn't garnered the attention that Errol Spence has. So, you know, it is what it is. So he looks at um, um, Wilder and um, Fury, and he goes with uh, Fury because uh, he says that uh, Fury has the uh, the boxing ability, and he wants Fury to uh, beat Wilder. So as you can see, uh, Colbert likes to go against the grain. He's uh, he considers himself Mexican and not black. So. You know, there's a there's a million things uh, that's going on with that. So, um, but he is a damn good fighter. So, you know, you may not like him personally, but uh, you may like him personally. It don't matter because in the ring he has speed, uh, technique, and um, this athletic ability uh, on a whole nother level. And I think he's gonna. Uh, become a great world champion um it's just that he's in those uh featherweight divisions and those divisions don't garner a lot of attention from casual fans and uh, the hardcores you know we will watch it and um, enjoy it and the way he's knocking out people uh down there is uh incredible uh i mean i take nothing away from Chris Colbert, you know, you, you know your opinions, your feelings. You know, you can, you know, have your own opinions, but his, you can't take nothing away from his uh, fight technique. Um, his uh, brashness as a fighter. Uh, you know, I mean, I might have something to say about his little style, but you know, the pink hair and all that. But you know, the dude is a bad, bad, bad mother in the ring. So. He'll be fighting on June, July 3rd uh, against Tusso Nampiar. And um, he he looks like he's it's going to be another one of those uh, fights where he just goes in and uh, showboats and knocks the guy out. And uh, he, he kind of reminds me of uh, Prince Nassim from back in the day when he used to flip in the ring and dance and, uh, you know, this has had so much more uh, talent and ability over everybody else, you know, uh, that he uh, he just made a name for himself. So I think Chris is uh, going to go down that kind of uh, path with uh, 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 
Prince Nassim type thing and, and uh, Adrian Brauner type type of uh, fighter and uh, but he has the skills to back it up and uh, will he move up and fight maybe like a Shakur Stevenson I think he's a few weight classes down from that but um, he's definitely one of the uh, top talents in boxing so we're gonna have to see if um, you know he makes a jump you know or is he gonna fight like the likes of uh, you know Donier or uh, some of those guys and um, Kashmir and um, you know or maybe uh, he'll just make the jump up to uh, to uh, Shakur you know and fight Shakur Herring and uh, some of the other guys that we know of that's, that's uh, at the top of the divisions, at the top of the featherweight divisions. And, um, you know, it should be a pretty good fight. Uh, I think Chris Colbert is just going to dominate. And, of course, he's he's trying to make a splash right now. So he's probably going to say some more outlandish stuff so the boxing fans can talk and watch his fights and um become a villain like uh, Floyd Mayweather so people can pay attention to him uh, he looked like he's a good father and, uh, and he loves boxing he looks like he's going to be one of those uh, boxers who's going to be great in the future he's great right now so tune in uh, July 3rd Chris Colbert is uh, one to watch um Watch him creep up on Tank and um, Ryan Garcia and um, we go on. But for right now, he's going to be fighting Toso Nambia and, um, June 3rd, and we'll tune in for that one. So, this has been Pool Kind of Boxing. And, um, you know, like I always say, a lot on go right here, a lot of. Yes, Abby. See you on the next one.